Welcome back to Rich Reviews. I'm Richard and you join us driving up to Dunsfold Aerodrome. For the motoring fanatics, most of you will know where we're off to today. We're driving in tandem or in parallel, whichever way you look at it, with another 458 Spider. It should be a very interesting event and we'll try and bring you as much coverage as we can. So we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Dunsfold Aerodrome. We're just driving behind our friend there in front. I won't say who he is in case he doesn't want to be known on camera. But uh, it's been a non-eventful drive really. Unpleasant weather but it is what it is. I hate driving in this weather to be honest with these types of cars but something I'll have to get used to more because it's such a pain in the ass to clean them to get them back to the state that I like to keep the car which is the car goes back in the garage in the same condition as it came out. That's uh, a good rule that I've used for the 993 and it, kept, it keeps the value on the cars. So just make sure that the car is just as clean and just as good condition when it goes back in the garage as when it came out. And that way the car will always be pretty much immaculate as long as you keep the bodywork up to spec, etc. And obviously don't drive in the rain unless you have to, unlike today. I've been to uh, Dunsfold Aerodrome before, um, a few years back. I was there with my ex-wife, my brother and his wife for, um, for an event there, let's say. So that was, uh, that was quite interesting. And it's, it's not what you expect. You think that there's gonna be a hell of a budget, but there isn't. <laughs> More on that later. You'll join us hopefully when we'll create some content where we're actually at the aerodrome. I don't know what the limitations are going to be. I know we can put, I know we can create some content, but I don't know how much and whether or not it will be just with the cameras or with the with the proper mirrorless cameras. So it might just be with the iPhones where we're creating content, but we'll see how we go. There's going to be some very very special cars there today. Ours probably will be the shitter. <laughs> not as bad as that, but I think mean, you know what I mean. So, we'll catch up with you later, guys. Oh, guys, that will give you an idea why you should never switch even a 458 into race mode when it's wet. <laughs> Fair play to the electronics. It, it kept it on the road. <laughs> I won't be doing that again. So, we've just been through the entrance at Dunsfold Aerodrome. Um, got my friend in front and we've got uh, 360 behind I think it is and uh, we're just heading in now into into the aerodrome so hopefully we can uh, film quite a bit so we're just driving in now into the aerodrome this is the view that you guys will never have seen this is Top Gear. This is Top Gear.
So we've arrived at Dunsfold Air Aerodrome. We're just here in the car parking area. Everybody's, um, as, as they come into the aerodrome for the event, they're all parking up and they're all being parked up um, quite close to each other now. As you can see, this is my friend's car, obviously 458 Spider. Shocking interior, but you can't have it all. He's listening, so uh, he knows what I'm saying. This is my 458 Spider part behind. You, this gives you an appreciation of the sort of roads we're dealing with, all the muck up the side of the wheel arches. Obviously this car's fully PPF, so not such of an issue there. As we come down the line, we've got a Hurricane Evo here. And it's in actual, it's, it's, I can't remember the actual name of this colour, but it's in matte green and it's actually got a matte PPF over the top of the actual matte green paintwork. Behind the Hurricane Evo, we've got a 360 Modena and then be, to the side of this, we've got a DB4. Beautiful DB4. Uh, DB6. Oh, DB6, <laughs> DB6. Oh. Be nice How long have you had it? <laughs> yeah. um, it's going to be uh, 2012. 2012, well, cool. <laughs> Thank you. And the line, we've got a McLaren GT in orange. This is mainly kept away from the dirt, so it's uh, couldn't have come very far. We move to the side here. We've got a 675 LT Spider here. Interesting paintwork. Sort of like a, a purpley blue colour. Aston Martin. And it, just, just coming along now into the actual aerodrome area, we've got an Aventador SV in what looks like matte grey. We've got the Pagani Zonda. Um, the avid, the avid um, viewers of the channel will know that this is the actual Zonda that we filmed at Salon Privé. Beautiful specification, fantastic car. Amazing to see it dirty. <laughs> these, um, these roads aren't very forgiving. As we go past the Pagani Zonda, we come behind a brand new 992 GT3. Obviously manual race seats. So this GT3 is in gentian blue, very similar to Ferrari TDF. Here we have a McLaren P1 GTR, and it's actually on slicks. Look at the carbon fibre on the rear diffuser and on the rear wing. Incredible the exhaust, massive exhaust outlets. Obviously all opened up at the back to provide as much cooling as possible. Left-hand drive. Total race spec. We're just moving across now to the actual main area and as you can see to the right hand side this is where they're setting up the actual the actual event and we're the first row so fortunately we managed to actually get configured so we were parked in the in the first stage of the car parking area and uh, we're in the, the first row of cars to be to be set up As you can see, we've got a, a light set up from a crane there, providing lighting. I can't think that that's gonna be the only lighting that's gonna be provisioned. They got some spinning spotlights. So this is the Top Gear track where they do their drag races, the old runway. So we're just parking up now on the actual main Top Gear runway, would you believe it? This is where they do their drag races along this runway. Um, see my cars parked here, my 458 Spider. We've got the other cars are actually lining up and being parked in sequence here. Uh, my colleagues, my friend's car in front, my friend's 458 Spider in front. Um, and uh, as you can see, all the other cars being, being uh, parked up on certain spots. They've got markers on the ground and they're parking up the cars, particularly on those markers. They've got a DJI Inspire 2 drone in the air 
to, um, to actually get the coverage of the cars being parked up. So it's a pretty cool setup. I mean, it's quite late and we've been waiting a long time, but finally we're here and it's all happening. It's an interesting configuration. We've got, we've got my friend here in his 408 Spider, who's uh, the, pretty much the only person who dressed up. And of course, he won the award. <laughs> Usual Top Gear budget. It was a, I think it was a box of Quality Street. <laughs> this is his, uh, his pained wife. So we're just walking along towards the stage. This is where the first row of cars are. You can see all the different varying types of cars here that are parked up. And we've actually got a GT3 Cup car here which I believe is actually one of, um, one of the actual um, BBC cars that they've had here. They had it parked around the back. If you look at the configuration inside here, it's totally stripped out, total race car. Very impressive. Hopefully you'll be able to uh, see in there some, some of the images, but it's totally stripped out. Full blown race car. And the wheels here, as you can see, they're actually steels. Now this car would have been delivered and originally base spec with carbon ceramic discs so they would have swapped the discs out for some reason to steels probably because this isn't going to be raced and the discs to let's be honest are a lot more usable than using carbon ceramics here we've got a volkswagen beetle here configured with a suitcase on the back and the uh the rear engine cover partly open probably adding additional cooling and coming up here we've got an amg sls lovely car moving along here we've got an actual project seven now look at the configuration of this roof. This has been a bit of a, an interesting point of discussion because the roof is a very manual configuration, a very manual setup, and it's a bit of a nightmare to actually install the roof. You actually carry the roof in the bag, in the boot. You actually carry the roof in the boot, and it takes up a lot of luggage space. And you have to put this rear sections up on the roof um, before you can actually put the cloth section up. It takes about half an hour, 40 minutes to actually put the roof up. So if you're caught in a downpour, forget it. You ain't going to be able to put the roof up with before you get wet. So we're coming up to a Gallardo Performante in uh, a usual Lamborghini colours. Carbon ceramics, green, green calipers, obviously right-hand drive. Alcantara quite a bit throughout the configuration in the cockpit. Usual standard setup for, for a Lamborghini. Mostly Audi switch gear for obvious reasons. Here we've got the Paracanevo that we talked about before. This is actually a four-wheel drive car. This gentleman actually works for Lamborghini, so presumably it is actually a company car. But it's got the V10, it's got the uh, engine covering glass, which is actually a lightened glass. I believe it's a, a form of Gorilla glass, as they call it, with that type of configuration. So the Top Gear event um, that we're actually being called here for is the Top Gear Christmas Special. Um, we're bringing our car, we brought our car and various other um, groups have been asked to bring cars or provide cars um, for the Top Gear Christmas tree. Now we're not sure if this is actually the, the Christmas tree setup at the moment or if this is just providing cars and setting us up for an audience with the, the presenters. Um, I think this is just setting us up for an audience with the presenters at the moment. And as you can see, they're just building the stage here for the event. So the stage is where Paddy, Chris and Freddie are going to present from. So I assume this is just for us to be here as an audience, first of all, and then maybe they'll set up a configuration for the, for the Christmas tree later on. But it's not quite dark enough yet for the Christmas tree. So I think this is just uh, for an audience, for the audience set up for the presenters. We've got the P1 GTR that just lining up now and being set up for parking. What an impressive car. This is pretty much a Le Mans race car. <laughs> We've actually come to realize this is the Christmas tree because you can see how they've got the different arms of the tree panning out to the sides as they're configuring the cars. And these Pagani Zonda as one of the arms of the tree. I think they're designing the tree in the old style, like um, I want to say Jewish tree, where all the arms point upwards. So I think this is the sort of style of configuration they're going for. If you look at the way how the cars are actually configured, how they're bringing them in and how they're lining them up, it seems to be that the tree is going to be configured in that manner. And then the actual, what we thought might be the stage area at the front, probably is going to be the actual ornament on top of the tree, whether it be a fairy or some such emblem. And there, of course, you've got a 993RS. We're just coming down here, we've got Nick's car, 
Four five eight spider crap spec interior. So we we'll always have this banter with him because mine's got the dark spec, sport more sporty spec, and Nick's got more of a classic spec. So we've just been told that the actual tree, this is the tree configuration, and is the tree configuration that we thought. The traditional tree where the arms come out from the sides. Um, when you actually the Top Gear event actually airs, you'll be able to see the configuration because, as, as I detailed earlier, they've got a drone that will be filming the actual tree from above. I'm not quite sure how the lights are going to work because I believe that they're going to light the cars, but that's the perception anyway or that was the perception the actual top bit where the stage is the presenters will actually be coming out onto the stage they will be actually greeting us and doing some discussions and just going around and looking at some other cars now that are coming in you can see we've got an old style aston martin lagonda on the left hand side here this is the 992 target so obviously relating to the actual model number 992 of these were ever made So we're just getting towards the actual time when the, the presenters are going to come on stage. We've been asked not to do any filming now, not any photographs, so we're going to respect that. And it's the BBC at the end of the day, so of course we don't want to go against that. So we're going to close out the video now. As you can see, if you look around the cars, we've been given a set of lights each um, to actually decorate the cars. This is our 458 Spider, of course. As you can see, each of the cars has actually got a set of lights and they've moved some of the cars that are coloured differently to specific strategic points in the configuration of the tree. So, so they actually show up better from the air and they've had a drone in the air for quite some time um, taking video footage of the configuration of the setup here. We've been asked to switch the lights off to conserve the batteries on the, on the light configurations, on the light sets. So we're going to close out the video now. Obviously they don't want any footage coming out both before they actually air the show. So we're going to say um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing already. And we'll see you in the next video, guys.